Hey, what's up guys, Ara here, and welcome back to a brand new video here today with some more F1 2019 gameplay and some different gameplay that we've not seen before. This is more to do with the menus and the customization options in the game for multiplayer, also oh, for, for your just character, really, also in terms of the, the player faces, the helmets available, and then, uh, like I said, the multiplayer liveries, and kind of just also seeing the, uh, the rest of the game a little bit more, because we've seen plenty of on-track gameplay already, but we've not seen how the game's actually looking. You know, we talked about those new menu systems, which look a lot better. You can see the front page now will display the game mode you play the most so if uh, for me instantly I'll probably play career mode the most so it'll show career mode at the forefront if you play multiplayer a lot that'll show multiplayer at the start and that's the kind of home page if you will you've got things like mail in the bottom left and a calendar system in the bottom left and that's to do really with the the, the league system where if you're a league if you run a league you can send mail messages to the people in your league and they'll receive the message in that mail system and then they can also uh, put the league races in a calendar which is in game so really, really cool features. Almost reminds me a little bit of like, you know, what we have in the career mode with mail uh, to let you know info about the race weekend, letting you know info about the league coming up. And then the calendar is very reminiscent of, you know, what you get in FIFA with the calendar. You can see the fixtures of the season. Well, that's kind of the same thing with here. You can see your races upcoming, basically, that you've signed up for. And it's a really good touch and fleshes out that entire side of the game. It makes things a lot easier to do things in-game. Now, I know a lot of people, you know, do leagues outside on websites and whatnot and, you know, organize stuff on Twitter. Twitter, but it's it's going to be so much easier for more casual players maybe to set things up just with their mates in game as well. Uh, I would have really liked liked to have seen so, stuff like that also make its way across into the single player experience. It'd be kind of cool to have that kind of calendar system maybe in the actual career mode as well to maybe simulate seasons if you wanted to. But that's just kind of you know thinking on the spot here. But uh, yeah, like I said, we're going to be looking at a lot of stuff with to do with the customization options today with the avatar, the helmet, and also the car. You know, these have all been fleshed out. The you'll see the character models look a lot better, and that's more due to the fact that on this year's game with the F2 integration into career modes with the cutscenes and stuff like that they've had to make sure they had to really flesh out the way the avatars look and so you'll see a noticeable difference they look a lot better from last year's game but I'm now going to let a few little highlight clips from the live stream that Codemasters did play and uh, let, yeah, let Lee Mather basically talk through it the, you know, the, the, the game director who better to talk you through all this good stuff and then we'll come back and talk about some other th uh, other things that were uh, you know, coming from that live stream sort out my, my online, online persona badge. so could you tell us what our badges. Yeah, so as you can see there in the top right hand corner, that's my, my uh, super license in the game. So whenever I race online, obviously I'm represented with my, uh, my badge, which you'll see in the lobbies, uh, and that will also be attributed to the super license. So as you can see, I've already got a pretty sweet badge there, and I actually bought that one as well earlier on, but I've still got plenty of competition points to spend. So competition points are the currency that you earn when you take part in the weekly events, mm -hmm. uh, and then they can then be spent in the game. On, on really nice customization items for either the player, the multiplayer car, or the, the character itself. So I'm going to pick that one because I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. So that's now updating. So I shall confirm that. And there we go. It's changed in the top right. So that's pretty cool. So that's yeah. that's how I'll be identified in lobbies. You'll see that is is the the uh, the badge that represents me. So now I think I'm going to set up my driver. So this is how I'll appear to people in the game when I'm racing online. Yeah, so uh, as part of the work that we've done to implement the F2 feeder series, um, the two characters that we've added to the game there that you'll race against, obviously are very uh, professionally motion captured and we want to get across the emotion when they're, yeah. you know, when they're arguing or when they're talking. You know, it's very much about that emotion and that passion between the drivers. So there's a lot of work gone into the characters. So as you can see there, it looks absolutely fantastic on screen. So I'm going to pick myself somebody different to represent me as a driver. So. Nice. So uh, you can already see there as well, I've actually got a, a slightly different race suit on. I've actually already been customising my character while I was racing earlier on. But I think let's make some changes. I think it's time for a change. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not particularly happy with my selection, so I'm going to go for something a little bit different. So I'm just going to pick, uh, I think I'm going to go for, what have you got to me? I'm going to spend some credits and I'm going to go for that one. So they're, so they're just competition points on it that you just spent. Exactly. Yeah. So that's competition points all that you win within the game. Yeah. So I've now got myself a nice helmet. I'm pretty happy with the colour on that one, so I'm not going to make any changes. But what I am going to do is make some changes to the suit. I don't think the two go together very well. No. Not that I'm some sort of fashion guru, so please, by all means, don't pay any attention to my poor taste. But uh, I actually Ooh, think that taste. that is a really good match. Yeah, they, they go I think really that well. I'm pulling out the purple and his eyes are popping, so yeah, we'll go with that. So I think that's a pretty cool suit. So again, this is now how the drivers will see me mm -hmm. when we're racing online together. Uh, if I'm driving one of the classic cars, that's the suit I'll wear. But obviously if I'm driving an official Formula One car, I'll be driving the, the suit for the yeah, team the that I'm racing for. Um, I think, yeah. Exactly. So 
I think that looks pretty sweet, but I think mm -hmm. unfortunately my gloves are really letting me down there at the moment. That's yeah, a I'd poor agree. colour choice in gloves. So I'm going to move across to the gloves and see what's available to me in here. So again, I can spend competition points to buy gloves. There's already some available to me, uh, which don't cost anything, but I think those gloves obviously look like they're going to match quite yeah, nicely. Yeah, they match really nicely. There he is. That looks pretty cool. That's, yeah, that's a, that's a good like race that. suit. It's a good helmet. So that's, that's, what, that's the driver that's now going to represent me when I play online. So I think now, let's have a look what I'm driving. So this is the multiplayer car that we're going to look at now. So this is a, a new initiative in the game this year. It's something that came about from a, a collaboration between our car team and Ross Braun and Pat Simmons from Formula One. So they got together and they designed this car, which is a Formula One 2019 spec car. So it's built to match the rules of the sport, uh, but it's not one of the existing teams. It's a car that we've designed. So that's opened up a whole new world of customization for us. So the player can now apply different skins to that car and customize it to represent themselves uh, in online play. So shall we have a look at what is available and what, what deliveries? Yeah, yeah. So straight up there, there's, there's three liveries available to me here at the start and I can customize the colors on those. So there's already a great degree of customization before I even start spending my, my points on, uh, on some of the more elaborate liveries. So obviously there I can make changes to the colors. So if we just go in here very quickly. I went for purple, didn't I, with the driver, so maybe I you should did. try maybe go for purple. pull out some purple in the colours. So there we go, there so we that, go. that would be a, a good yeah. representation, that would be a good car for me. But I'm more elaborate than that, so I'm not going to go for that. I'm going to pick one of the skins that I can purchase using the points that I've still got. I've got a good amount. To... So as you can see there, I've spent some competition points on that skin. Again, those points that I would have won by taking part in weekly events. Yeah. So you can see there, so that's now the car that will represent me while I'm racing online. There we go. I think there that looks go. cool. I yeah, like that. I like that. Yeah, I think that works well. I think so. So, so now when I race online, that's the car that people will see me driving in the suit that you've just seen me select yeah. with the helmet and the gloves, uh, and also represented by the badge that you see there in the top right-hand corner when players look at my super license. So there we go. So that's that's customization in the mm -hmm. game this year. Again, it's it's a huge element that we've never yeah. had before. Something we've been striving to do for such a long time. Uh, and it ties in beautifully to the way it works with the leagues and how it works with the online play. So those highlights were a really good look into the entire you know, customization side of, of the game. You know, it's got its own tab in the main menu there. So you know it's kind of a big deal that they made a, a big fuss about. You know, it's a big, a big part of the game. And multiplayer, it's going to change the whole kind of well, landscape of it, essentially, visually speaking as well. Uh, compa uh, you know, as well as, you know, the, the competitive side in terms of, you know, league racing being a little bit easier to do. You've got all these weekly events as well. You can see, you know, weekly events will pop up and they're a little bit more uh, easier to find fine really because I felt like in the previous games with the menu they had before it was tucked away so much and I feel like it, it seems kind of maybe silly to say but if they're not there and easily accessible it's all it doesn't make you want to play them anymore like if, uh, like for me especially like coming from a career mode side I don't have any desire to play any of these multiplayer weekly events mostly also because every time I boot up the game straight away careers there and straight away it's like two clicks away to Grand Prix mode or two clicks away to time trial and that's it whereas you have to go all the way to multiplayer then dive into that then you go to like three subset menus and then you get to like the weekly event or whatever whereas this is literally just you know two clicks away multiplayer bang it's there all on the same screen weekly event league ranked unranked land game whatever and it's all there easily accessible um yeah it's just those little things you know make the ui and the the menus just a little bit easier to navigate essentially but uh anyway we're going to move on then so uh, part, another part of the live stream was the showroom you can see on on, on the menu that's another part of the menu uh, main menu and the showroom is very 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 cool and it's a lot like what I likened it to what Forza has with Forza Horizon and Forza Motorsport and I've always really loved the showroom in Forza games because they look exquisite you know you know we all like cars essentially you I mean I like to think we all like cars in some sort of fashion if you like Formula One so we all like to kind of you know, just look at the visual aspect of cars you know I think that's what you know half and or half of what people like cars for is just the visual aspect of it and the, the same thing can be said of, F, uh, of F1 cars or just racing cars in general is you know just looking at them in a nice environment so having this kind of showroom where you can look at not only the F1 cars, the F2 cars from 2018 and obviously 2019 once they come in as well um, as well as the classic cars as well and you can just, you know, have this zoomed in shot really nice cinematic of looking around the car and just, you know, the way the light bounces off everything, you've got the nice background of like, I don't know it looks like some billionaire's mansion or something like that, so he's obviously, you know his Donny over here has bought all these F1 cars and brought them into his showroom, but uh, yeah, it's just really, 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 really cool um, a little touch, not too big obviously it's nothing major, you know, you're probably going 
going to look at it only a couple of times, maybe um, a month or something like that, if that. But uh, still, a very nice, a nice thing. Like I said, kind of like Forza. So it's really, really cool to see them bringing those kind of little touches that these other kind of huge mainstream racing games are kind of doing and bring them into the F1 side of things. And also for casual fans, you've got these info as well on, on the F1 car as well. So you can kind of get clued up on, on what's what, basically, with all the cars. And, you know, if you're into the classic cars, you can kind of get uh, caught up in uh, the technical details of all the of the retro F1 cars. But we move back to looking back at the uh, menus there as we go through the single player. We've got Career, Grand Prix, Championships, Time Troll. Championships is probably the, the game modes uh, you can still play from last year's game, which are really fun. You know, the, the kind of reverse grids, the sprint races and whatnot. Uh, but that's that's a single player, and that, we saw all the multiplayer stuff. And then a new tab, uh, finally to round off the video, is F1 Esports. They have a dedicated F1 Esports tab, which I, I, I think is a really good move because obviously... F1 esports is growing really uh, largely, but it was never there in F1 2018. Like, you never would know F1 esports was a thing unless you went to the multiplayer event to qualify, and that's when it was ever mentioned in the game. Whereas now, you know, even new players, casual players of the game will now know, oh, hang on, F1 has an esports. It's their dedicated hub. You've got, you know, link, direct links to visit the esports site to get clued up on it. You've got the official rules, official hardware and stuff. Obviously, that's a bit, a bit of marketing and advertising for there. But you've got really cool, the calendar for the F1 esports. So, you know, I assume if you clicked on that, you'd see, you know, the dates of the races of the season of F1 esports 2019. You've got watch the last race on the right hand side, which I think is awesome. So it allows people to watch the F1 esports stuff from directly in the game, which I think is going to, you know, be a really cool you know, hub, essentially. Like, if you don't want to faff around going, you know, to the, to the I don't know, the, the Facebook stream or watch it on Sky or whatever, where, wherever they have it broadcast on TV. Um, I'm trying to think where else they really have have it. I mean, I, th I think they, I don't think they did Twitch live streams for last year's uh, esports, did they? No, I don't think they did. But uh, yeah, you can just watch it directly from in the game, which I think is really cool. Uh, again, getting casual fans into it because F1 esports was a really solid season last year, but I think it could be even sweeter this year with four events coming up. The competition should be even better because you've got a few drivers swapping around in season. So I'm really excited, looking forward to it, and I hope you guys are as well. But yeah, essentially, that's going to be the video then for today, guys. You're looking through the, uh, the main part was the customization stuff for the first time we really saw the actual menus because we heard about better customization but we hadn't seen it visually speaking you know in the actual uh, you know in the menus and in the game and how it all look and work and a lot like uh, Lee said a lot of the multiplayer options and the customization options will all be visual and they're going to kind of use these credits these kind of racing credits or whatnot um, so there are going to be some microtransactions where you can buy those credits if you want to go ahead and buy liveries and stuff like that but they've made it very clear especially on Twitter that there will be no performance enhancements it's all visual so you know very much kind of almost like most games do, I mean, uh, in, you know, some games uh, do Michael Jackson, Jackson's the wrong way, but most do livery, you know, aesthetics only, and this is going to be the same thing. So if you want to customize yourself and get uh, you know, a nice looking car, you, and you don't fancy playing the game a ton, you can just go ahead and buy the liveries, essentially. But none of it's going to affect the performance, essentially. It'll all still be a level playing field when you get onto the track. But uh, yeah, that's been the video then, guys. So if you did like the look of all that, then let me know in the comments below. Give this video a like, and if you're on your own, you can subscribe for more F1 2019 gameplay and news when it comes in. Obviously, we're not too far out from the game, so hopefully we'll be getting some more gameplay maybe in the coming week or so. But yeah, not too far, not too far, not too long to wait, guys. But if you're on your own here, do subscribe for all that good stuff. I've been Aaron, I hope you enjoyed today. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.